Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 4975 and today we're going to be customising the brand new Benefactor BR8 featured in the Los Santos Summer Special Update. If you guys are curious to see any customisation of the club, the, the Class A Rancher, the um the cockett d10 or the new yuga 4x4 i did a live stream the other day where i customized all four of those vehicles i will link that live stream down in the description below and in the pinned comment i've also done a time card so you can click uh on the time card for the specific vehicle you want to see me customize so just thought i'd let you know that before we get into the video but this is the benefactor br8 right here it's one of the new open wheel um vehicles obviously based on some sort of mercedes because it's in the benefactor um family i've already bought it it costs three million it's right here it looks quite nice actually um it does look very different to the open wheel race cars that we already have so that is quite nice uh, but let's just go ahead and customize the thing Okay, so we're in the workshop. Uh, we've obviously got all the armor and brakes and everything. I'm not going to bother with any of that. We're just going to do purely cosmetic things. Uh, so the front wings, we have the stock front wing. We have the medium front wing. So this is going to change the like splitter thing down at the bottom. Um, we have the circuit attack front wing. We have the champ champion front wing, sorry, and the legendary front wing. Um which one of these do i like i i quite like this one the champion the championship front wing that looks very nice we've obviously got the engine the exhaust we've got the stock exhausts which are just down there at the bottom we've got titanium aluminium and carbon tipped um honestly you can't really see the exhaust so i'm just going to leave that stock um the liveries we've got uh, obviously no livery we've got the Pisswasa livery we've got uh, Estancia which is uh, quite similar to what you can get on one of the um, on one of the other race cars I can't remember the name of it it's the uh, Anis race car um, we've got the Atomic one that actually looks really nice we've got Myanmar uh, we've got the Junk, uh, junk one uh, junk racing we've got western and that also has like zero on there as well we've got what's this one infectious looks quite nice and we've got the sprunk one we've got the redwood one and we've got the fix up one um looks kind of a bit interesting not too keen on that i quite like the atomic one yeah i think that looks really nice uh, so we'll go for that um on the respray options i don't know really what color we want to go for this um i feel like maybe a white a white with the blue might look quite good let's have a look how that looks um white and blue yeah i think that looks quite good we'll go with that what does the secondary color change um i'm not seeing what that changes um obviously it's going to change any secondary options you have um at the minute it's surf blue so i mean we'll just leave it as that um we've got the stock skirts we've got the stock rear intake scoop which just adds like a little intake down there we've got the lightened aerodynamic body we've got the racing aerodynamic body which adds some more like fins on the back and we got the extreme aerodynamic body which moves the vents like forward a little bit um i don't really like those like wing bits on the side they look a bit weird but i do like that like little like that little sort of fin bit on the side there like that bit looks really nice so i'm gonna go for that one uh whoops that's not what i wanted to do we've got spoiler options okay so we've got the cutoff spoiler which is basically the same as what we have but like they've cut cut it down a little bit we've got the small extreme wing we've got the angular wing 
okay this one adds like a little fin on the back there the tall cutoff fin the tall racing fin and the extreme shark fin how is that oh okay so it has like a little cut out in there um i quite like that one the cut off tall fin it looks nice uh in the wheel options obviously we've got the open wheel wheels on this we got classic five classic five stripped we've got retro star retro star stripped triplex triplex stripped 70 spec 70 spec stripped uh, we've got the super 5r super 5r stripped we've got the speedster and we got the speedster stripped um oh we have got a few more we've got the gp90 gp90 stripped obviously we got all the different uh wheels that you can get normally i don't know what to go with this i do quite like the retro star the stripped ones they look really nice and then on the wheel color i guess we'll go for like a blue try and match it up with the livery uh something like like that maybe bright blue i think that looks quite nice tire design we've got to go for some tire lettering we've got atomic uh Fukaru. can we get a blue one no um i quite like this first one i do like atomic as well yeah we'll go with the atomic and obviously we can't do anything with tire smoke and that is the thing fully customized so let's take it out on the street and see how this thing handles right so here we are outside in our new benefactor br8 and to be honest it just handles like any of the other open wheel cars i don't know about the stats in this thing um whether this is faster than the uh older open wheel race cars that we already had in the game um i guess that's something that i'll have to test out for you but to be honest it just feels like all the other open wheel race cars they all feel very similar they turn very quickly you can see i'm trying to show that off here they're all very quick they all sound absolutely incredible which is something and um, this one actually does look quite nice it looks more like an actual f1 car um, some of the other f1 cars that we already had or the open wheel cars they looked a bit more like indie cars this actually does look a bit more like an f1 car which is quite nice i do like the like fin bit there on the back the spoilers are a little bit funky i've never seen an f1 car with a spoiler like that but that is going to do it for this video if you have enjoyed thank you all so much for watching please drop the video a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel we're going to be customizing all of the new cars in the next few videos so if that's something you're interested in watching then please do subscribe to the channel that's going to do it for me thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next video